There was no end of drama on the final day of the Tipsport Czech Ladies Open, with the action going down to the final hole at Baroon Golf Club. There was plenty of local talent challenging at the top of the leaderboard, including amateur Patricia Makova, who followed up a score of 66 on Saturday with a 71 on the final day, leaving her in a tie for 13th on 7 under par after a birdie on the last. Four players finished in a share of 9th on 8 under par in Czechia, including Switzerland's Kim Matro. Three birdies and an eagle on the par 4 12th on the card for her on Sunday, as she recorded a third top 10 finish in an impressive season. Ursula Wikström also finished a 9 under for the week after a final round score of 68. The thing came flying out the blocks to be 4 under after 7 holes on Sunday, before a birdie and a bogey on the back 9 saw so a settle for a share of 9th. Also in the quartet to finish on 9 under was Spain's Elena Hualde. The impressive showing in Baru was the 23 year old's best ever finish on the LET, with two birdies in her final two holes, enough to see her finish in the top 10 for the first time on tour after carding a final round score of 68. It wasn't to be for Austrian amateur Emma Spitz on Sunday, having held the overnight lead on 12 under. She couldn't recreate her form from the first two days, as she carded a final round score of 74 to drop back into a share of six. But there were plenty of positives to take from her week in Baroon, and that's definitely not the last we'll see of her. Spitz finished alongside Luna Sobron on 10 under for the week, with a final round 69 enough to secure the Spaniard a third top 10 finish of the season. Moving into the top five now, and that's where we find Laura Gomez Ruiz, as a Spaniard who tasted victory on the Santander Golf Tour last week, recorded a best ever LET finish after a final round of 65. That saw her finish on 11 under for the week, with an eagle in the last enough to seal the deal. It was another strong performance for Johanna Gustavsson in Baru, with the Swede firing a final round 66 to move into fourth on Sunday. After being two over after six holes, she came soaring back into contention with eight birdies in her final 12, including on each of her final three holes. Another great showing for the Swede sees her close the gap at the top of the race to Costa del Sol standings. Having held a share of the lead overnight, Nicole Brockestra couldn't capitalise on her advantage on the final day. The Dane could only manage a score of 71 on Sunday, with this birdie on the 17th enough to take the competition down to the wire. But to miss birdie chance on 18 would ultimately see her have to settle for a share of second spot. We saw her finish alongside home star Clara Spilkova. Two birdies in her final two holes, including this on the 18th, saw her finish two under for the day, a 13 under for the week, and a performance that delighted the home crowd. And they had even more reason to cheer as the final group made their way down the back nine, as Czech amateur Jana Melikova continued to hold her nerve at the top of the leaderboard. After five birdies in the first ten holes, the 24-year-old had a four-shot advantage at one stage on Sunday, before three consecutive bogeys saw things tighten up heading into the final stages. A crucial birdie on the 17th was enough to seal the deal for Melikova, who secured a magical victory in front of her home crowd, having come into the week ranked as the 105th best amateur in the world. After another strong performance in Baroon, Johanna Gustafsson closes the gap at the top of the race to Costa del Sol standings, with the Swede keeping the pressure on compatriots Lynn Grant and Maya Stark at the top of the leaderboard.